My name is Reed Eddington. I'm from Clarksville, Tennessee, and I went just 45 minutes south to Music City, Nashville, Tennessee, to get my undergraduate degree in music therapy at Belmont University. When I was younger, I grew up in church, and my dad was my youth choir director and he often took us around to the local nursing homes. And my dad has a huge heart for older adults, which is where I think I get it from. And he had us learn a bunch of the oldies but goodies um, <laughs> songs. And I just grew up from sixth grade to 12th grade going to all these nursing homes and loving walking into a place that is often forgotten about and filled with people that often are forgotten about and walking in and seeing the beautiful thing that music can do and seeing the light come back into their eyes and the lyrics come back into their brains and all things like that and it was just truly magical growing up and seeing for such a long time the incredible power that music has to make people come back to life. Before Neurhythm, um, I was a student um, and we had multiple practicum experiences. I did a practicum site within the psychiatric um, population, within a nursing home, and developmental needs and within a hospital. So I had a pretty eclectic um, variety of populations. And I also am <laughs> level one ORF certified through my undergraduate degree. After the completion of my coursework at Belmont, um, I was really looking to reset and get far away from school and what I've known and just kind of explore the world. Um, and mostly I wanted to be by the mountains and I thought what better place than to be in Colorado and specifically Colorado Springs. And I was lucky enough to find this um, private practice had an internship and um, in music therapy my undergrad through Belmont, we have a behavioral approach to music therapy, which I love dearly. I'm also very interested in neurologic music therapy. And it was pretty crazy how neurorhythm combined both behavioral, um, the behavioral modality and the neurologic music therapy modality in this type of setting. And I just thought that the stars had aligned and this was the place I needed to be. My favorite thing to do in music therapy sessions is bringing in new creative ideas to achieve the same kind of goals we've been working on. So I love introducing new sensory things such as scarves, new songs, um, bringing in animals and things like that just to find um, new and current engaging ways to keep the children um, excited about coming to music therapy. I like all kinds of music, so it's always really hard for me to answer. The only type of music I don't like is country music, which is funny because I come from Nashville. Um, but mostly I listen to folky stuff, folk hybrid stuff, folk pop, folk rock, that kind of thing. My favorite band for a while now has been Malone Bello. They're really great. Just a lot of happy music. My main instrument is my voice. I've had classical training um, since for eight years now, since about mm, seventh, eighth grade. Um, I also play piano and I play guitar and like every millennial, I play the ukulele. <laughs> my favorite thing about being involved in music therapy is being able to combine two things I'm very passionate about, which is music and serving others. I think it's truly incredible that I get to live a life where I can see people and um, help them through the beautiful stimulus that is music that can touch so many lives. I often say in this job, every client that I meet um, breaks my heart and mends it back together in one session or one experience. Um, it's just beautiful to see the brokenness in all of us and seeing so much redemption through the power of music with self-expression, creativity, and um, just getting better as a human being.